Hi guys, I'm Atusa, and as some of you may have heard from Tony's Top Revs, this is our brand new segment called The Car Girl. Welcome to our very first episode where we have the luxury of being within these two beasts of cars. We've got the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Just look at this beauty, guys. It is amazing. Just look at it. The color, the spoiler, the grill, everything about this car is just brilliant. I mean, right off the bat, the first thing that caught my eye was this brilliant large rear wing. I mean, it's gigantic. Compared to the normal Lamborghinis, this has three mounts, whereas the normal one would usually have two. So I think that kind of gives you an idea of how massive it actually is. And the back itself is actually carbon fiber as well, which is brilliant. I mean, it's truly magnificent. It's, it really does catch your eye. And then if you follow this rear wing round, it brings you back to the engine cover, which is beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's literally reptile-like. If you just focus on all these little scales, it makes it have an out of this world sort of feel. It almost looks like a spaceship from the side even. And then if you follow back around to the alloys, you have this sort of Y sort of pattern. It almost looks web-like as well, to be honest. This Y pattern is essential because it's the current theme that follows throughout the car. So I don't know why it is. If anybody knows why, please let me know because I literally have not been able to find anything. So if we see this Y here, if you follow it back round, you can also see it on the lights. I mean, the lights are off right now, but if you focus on here, you can see the three Ys. So they're the signaling points. And again, it's that Y frame. And I don't know what it is, but it's, it flows through the whole car. You can even see it on here, to be honest with you. So if you focus on here, you can see that sort of Y shape coming in again. And this Y pattern detailing follows throughout the car, even in like the subtlest ways. I mean, look at that. It's literally as subtle as that, but it's still there. It's Lamborghini. They've done it again. It's literally the tiniest of details make this car brilliant. If you follow back round to the air intake side panels, if you just look at them, I mean, it really is gigantic. It has to be. It gives all this car the extra power that it needs, just that little bit extra. It's bigger than any of the previous Lamborghinis also produced, so this is literally a beast of a car. If you follow around through to the front of the car, you've got your traditional Lamborghini front. I mean, this is what you want, isn't it? It's brilliant. I mean, just look at it from the lights to the front splitter. It's amazing. The lights, if you focus again, you've got that, why? I don't know what it is, guys, like honestly. You've got that Y straight there again. It's the littlest of details that makes this car brilliant, honestly. And then the carbon fiber can also be found throughout here as well. So it's literally trimmed around the whole car, the carbon fiber. Um, we'll get more into that inside as well because I'm pretty sure there's some inside too. So talking about the inside, if you want to follow me, one might be thinking, how do I get into a Lamborghini? I mean, we've all seen the pictures, the videos of the car door flipping up, really extravagant. But how do you actually get in? Because there is no visible door handle. So what Lamborghini have done is really clever. They've inserted like a little rubber panel at the bottom of here. If you just have a look, don't know if you can see it, it should be somewhere here. So if you gently pull on that, the door will flip up magically. I feel like I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> it's literally amazing the way it just opens up, it's a showstopper, it will take people's breath away because you're thinking, wow, what on earth? So if you come inside, come have a look at the interior with me. Absolutely beautiful, wow. Just look at it. It feels like a spaceship inside, like almost like a spaceship. So you've got the carbon fibre trim around the inside, like I said before. So it's following through the door. The carbon fibre is also the seats as well, and the seats are really tough, sturdy seats that obviously keep you in place. You want to feel secure when you're in a race car like this. I mean, it's a supercar, come on. Um, the carbon fibre also follows around the central system too, so it's the littlest of details. It just makes it what it is. 
In this front middle panel, you have all your control settings. You've got here, you've got your Sport, your Corsa and your Strada mode, which is obviously street mode, sport mode, and then your racing mode. That is the one that will give you that throttling sort of rev. Um, the wide detailing as well. If you have a look at the mats here, it's not actually mats, it's like rough, rough flooring. It's not even mats. It's like got that little Y pattern going throughout the whole thing. And if you have a look at the seats as well, the seats have that same sort of Y pattern following through. It's, it's the tiniest of things that brings this whole car together and just makes it what it is. It's brilliant. I love it. It feels so nice to just sit in and just take it all in. You've got the suede effect here. It's just brilliant. Look at it. Got all of this nice little suede. You've got obviously the Aventador sign here. Now, moving on to what you all probably want to hear about, the engine size. So if I just step out of here. So if you come behind here, you can see the V12 engine right there. I don't know if you can focus on that. So we've got a horsepower of 760 in that engine. That is ridiculous. 760 horsepower that is like boom literal brilliance with that comes 217 at the top speed which is still really really high you can literally go flying with that um what you've also got with that is um one of the lightest lamborghinis we've got can you believe this beast is the same weight as a ford focus <laughs> just your box standard ford focus this is the same weight really you wouldn't think it would you it is true brilliance oh and to shut the door <laughs> you literally just have to and you're done how cool is that it's brilliant i think anyway that wraps up our short little review of the lamborghini aventador svj if you have any more questions if you want to see me review any other cars do let me know down below oh and if anyone has figured out why we've got all this wise on the car please let me know do like, do subscribe, do comment. Let me know what you'd like to see more of and hopefully I'll see you shortly.